Hello friends, today we will be discussing about the plants. Do they feed like we do? Probably no, might be yes. Let's find out in this video. So guys, the basic question here is do plants feed? First of all, we see what plants have, what they haven't. Plants are devoid of any nervous system. They do not have any nervous system like we do have. Second thing is their sensory organs. There are no sensory organs. There is nothing present in plants. Third one is they are immobile. Or we can say immovable. They cannot move from one place to another place. So this one is basic one. They don't have any locomotory organs. So how plants survive? How they are able to cope up with the environment? And we know that the environment poses different kind of harsh conditions towards the plants. So how these plants are able to cope up with the environment? How they are able to live? In these harsh conditions. Let's see what plants have. We talk about pigments or signaling molecules in plants. These are the pigments in plants that are able to transduce a signal. We call them phytochromes. They are the photoreceptor pigments in plants. They have the ability to detect light, sensitive to red and powder region of visible spectrum. They set the photoperiodism in plants. They set the circadian rhythms and they enhance or they also help in germination of seeds that's the photoblasty then there are cryptochromes in plants these are plyvoproteins they are sensitive to blue light of visible spectrum they sense the magnetic field set circadian rhythm too plants also show different type of tropism movement that are the growth movements we call them directional movements of plant because we also have non-directional movement in plants like plants have chemotropism gravitropism hydrotropism that are the movements towards the chemicals gravitation and water respectively still the question is unanswered do plants feel let's get back to the history first charles darwin pops up here he was the first scientist who discovered the movement in plants and wrote it in a book namely the power of movement in plant he discussed every type of movement in plant mostly he discussed on the phototropisms there was another scientist named Gustav Heckner a German psychologist he experimented on plants and gave his observation there where he said that the plants have emotions and feelings too It's time to install a light detector machine to plants. Let's see, are they lying? It was Cleve Baxter, a CIA interrogation specialist. He used light detector machines to see do plants feel, do plants sense anything. Cleve used a polygraph referred to as a light detector. He experimented on plants and claimed that plants feel pain and have extrasensory perception. In 1926, J.C. Bose wrote a book on nervous mechanism of plants. He was a strong believer that plants feel. He invented a crescograph, which is an instrument used to measure the growth of plants at a minute level. You can see in this picture, this is the crescograph invented by J.C. Bose. History is history. Now we see the recent studies. Laser driven microscope. It was used by researchers in bone and they found that flowers whimper when leaf is cut, cucumber scale when they get sick. Do cucumbers get sick? Might be. They found that. It's their research. They have experimented and they have seen that plants show some kind of feelings when they are exhibited to some kind of stress. Another study from the University of Missouri, Columbia. They found that plants respond to leaf vibrations caused by leaf chewing by insects. And they found that when these vibrations get more intense, plants change their metabolism and they secrete some kind of chemicals, thereby acting as a defensive mechanism to repel these pests. Mystery remains mystery. We are still unanswered to the question, do plants feel? Still, we are in a nascent stage to show do plants actually feel? 
like we have seen in the movie Avatar where Dr. Grace, the exobiologist or astrobiologist, shows that how plants feel, how plants communicate with each other. Guys, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, and do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.